We have some breaking news on this Sunday morning. Former Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson has died. Governor Brian Kemp confirmed the news in a release this morning. Senator Isaacson was 76 years old. Here is part of Governor Kemp's statement. It reads in part, Georgia has lost a giant, one of the greatest statesmen and a servant leader dedicated to making his state and country better than he found it. Isaacson personified what it meant to be a Georgian. Johnny was a dear friend to Marty, the girls and me, as he was to so many. He answered the call to public service many times over his career as a state legislator, minority leader in the Georgia House, chair of the State Board of Education, congressman, and finally as senator. Senator Isaacson lived a life of public service that continued after he left the Senate in 2019 for health reasons. Jeff Hellinger looks back at his life. One quote best sums up Johnny Isaacson's political career. I truly don't know a single person who didn't like Johnny Isaacson. That was Maine Senator Susan Collins. He possessed a skill not taught to many political leaders, an attention to detail. He knew everything and everyone around him. When I started doing more at 11 Alive, he noticed and he sent me a letter of congratulations and encouragement. Seeing Senator Isaacson at a political event was like watching a prize fighter enter the arena. He would sweep across the ballroom, shaking hands, remembering names, making eye contact with all. How's your youngest, Naomi? Third grade? Where does time go, he would ask. Important people, authorities, colleagues, media, and voters. Senator Isaacson bounced off all nimbly with poise and with purpose. Born in Atlanta, a graduate of UGA, Senator Isaacson served in the Georgia Air National Guard before he began his career in state politics. He served in both the Georgia House and Senate, but he had ambitions beyond the Gold Dome. He ran unsuccessfully for governor in 1990. In 1996, he ran for the U.S. Senate. He was the underdog and he was the bulldog. When are you going to stop being a hypocrite and start talking about what you believe in? But ultimately, he lost the Republican primary to Guy Milner. Senator Isaacson definitely stood out in that 1996 race, a Georgia Republican who supported abortion rights. I will not vote to amend the Constitution to make criminals of women and their doctors. I trust my wife, my daughter, and the women of Georgia to make the right choice. He was not apologetic about it. We did what realized is risky, but I mean, with risk there's reward. There's no risk in telling people what your position is. Years later, Senator Isaacson would say he was pro-life with exceptions. That 1996 disappointment was the last election he would lose. In 1999, he won a seat in Congress representing Georgia's 6th Congressional District. He was re-elected twice. In 2004, he ran for the Senate again, beating two other Republicans. Congressman Mac Collins and businessman Herman Cain in the primary. He defeated the Democrat Denise Majette in the general election, joining the class of 2005 in Washington. And tomorrow we're going to go to work, and I promise you what I've always given you. 150% effort, the best I have to offer, and I'll never fail you for lack of effort. God bless you, and thank you. Senator Isaacson easily won re-election twice in 2010 and 2016. His 2016 campaign had to be the toughest. A year earlier, he announced he had Parkinson's disease, but he vowed it would not slow down his re-election bid, and it did not. I moderated a live debate with two opponents inside Georgia Public Television before a large, boisterous audience. The opponents were uncomfortable arriving ahead of Senator Isaacson. Both were clearly nervous. They gave little attention to the studio crowd. A fast handshake with me, limited eye contact, and then they got behind their podiums. Senator Isaacson was clearly diminished physically by Parkinson's as he entered, but working the crowd, working the room, saying hello to his opponents, asking me about family, the senator established very quickly he was the man. He was quick on his feet in the debate, a whirling dervish of facts and figures with the innermost knowledge of running the American government. Facing his overmatched opponents elicited a sports reference, Major League hitting facing double-A pitching. His legacy, many will say his work for our nation's veterans. During his chairmanship of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, the group passed more than 50 pieces of legislation to reform the VA. But as a freshman senator, he danced through a political minefield when Delta Airlines filed for bankruptcy and prepared to terminate its pension plan. 
He went to work on a bill that would allow the airline to stretch out payments on its pension plans. Delta is our airline and it is an absolutely essential part of the greatness of this state. Many lawmakers, including then President George W. Bush, were against bailout type help for airlines. This former real estate agent and owner of his own business put on his deal-making hat. The bill passed the Senate 93 to 5. In 2009, Kate Pusey was a Georgian serving in the Peace Corps. She was killed in Africa. Senator Isaacson went there personally to try and secure justice for Kate and her family. He also drafted a bipartisan bill to protect other volunteers in the future. President Obama signed the Peace Corps Volunteer Protection Act as defined by Kate in 2011. I attended a small dinner party in Cobb County in honor of Lakeside High School graduate and my former television intern, Samantha Power. Ambassador Power had been confirmed as the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. She had been sponsored by Senator Isaacson on the floor of the U.S. Senate. He had used me as a character reference on her abilities. The dinner had Senator Saxby Shambliss and the Coca-Cola president and other leaders of business and politics. But Senator Isaacson that night was the alpha. He shaped the conversation. He set the tone. Senator Isaacson has always filled the room. It's something not taught, but understood by all when he enters. You know it when you see it. When he gave his farewell speech to Congress in December of 2019, Senator Isaacson proclaimed, there's something missing in this place. What was missing was bipartisanship, something he preached and practiced. Sometimes it was there for all to see. His embrace of Congressman John Lewis remains one of the most memorable moments in recent Georgia political history. He voted with Republicans, but he respected Democrats. We can do it. We can do anything. We may be called a liberal, we may be called a rhino, we may be called whatever it is. Let's solve the problem and then see what happens. He received a standing ovation from the entire Senate chamber after his farewell speech. Respect, cooperation, imagine that now. He's right, you know, bipartisanship is sorely missed. Senator Isaacson will be sorely missed as well. What a great loss. Friends and colleagues across the United States are now reacting to the news of his death. The University of Georgia issuing a statement this morning that said, Johnny Isaacson will be remembered as a true statesman and a dedicated public servant who made a positive and lasting impact on our state, nation, and world. He was also a loyal Georgia Bulldog who made all of us proud to be fellow graduates of the University of Georgia. He will continue to honor his life and memory through our work to find a cure for Parkinson's disease through the John H. Johnny Isaacson Chair for Parkinson's Research. Stacey Abrams also tweeting this morning saying U.S. Senator Johnny Isaacson served the whole of Georgia with attention and fairness. With every interaction, my respect for him grew and never wavered. Though we held different ideologies, I was honored to call him a friend. God's peace to his family, loved ones, and friends. Senator Ossoff, John Ossoff, also tweeting this morning, reacting to the news of Senator Isaacson's death, saying Senator Isaacson was a statesman who served Georgia with honor. He put his state in his country ahead of his self and party, and his great legacy endures. Alicia and I will keep Diane and the Isaacson family in our prayers. Former Senator David Perdue also releasing a statement saying Bonnie and I are heartbroken by the passing of former U.S. Senator Johnny Isaacson. Johnny was an effective colleague, a mentor I looked up to, and a friend whom I deeply cherished. From serving in the Air National Guard to fighting for Georgians in the United States Senate, Johnny's entire life revolved around service. He always put others before himself. And the last few years have not been easy for Johnny, but he responded to every obstacle with stalwart resilience. His dry wit and kind heart will be missed by everyone who knew him. And former Georgia State Representative Vernon Jones tweeting this, one of Georgia's tallest pines has fallen. I had the honor of serving with Senator Johnny Isaacson during my time in the state legislature. Few loved the state of Georgia as much as him and have served our state more honorably, RIP. And former Speaker of the United States House of Representatives tweeting, Senator Johnny Isaacson passing 
Senator Johnny Isaacson's passing marks the end of an era. Johnny was a founder of the modern Georgia GOP. His years of patient, steady work with an always positive attitude, a smile for everyone, and a balanced approach to life, politics, and government made Georgia a better place. Now, the sad news of a uniquely beloved political figure among both Democrats and Republicans, which we know is no small feat. Isaacson's motto was known to be, there are two types of people in this world, friends and future friends. It served him well during his 45 years of public service. And now those stories attesting to his character are piling up in the wake of his loss at 76 years old this Sunday morning. We will have much more on the life and the service of the former senator on 11 Alive News at 6 o'clock. And we will continue to follow this breaking story throughout the day. Check for more updates on 11alive.com. Thank you.